Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to All About Fun and Games. Stay tuned for three things that I love about the game Caverna. Caverna was published in 2013 and designed by UV Rosenberg. In the game, you are cave dwellers. You can build different rooms in the cave as well as mine in the deeper parts, but you can also go outside the cave and farm, planting grains and veggies and or pasturing animals, all while growing a family. In the solo game, your goal is to score the most points with 100 being considered the magical number. Let's take a look at the three things that I love about it specifically. Number one is the theme. I love how the game immerses you in the plane of cave dwellers. There are lots of components in the game, different tiles giving various goals to go after during the play, and different rooms to build in your cave, different objectives to try. Do you focus on sheep farming or planting or mining? Gives you the sense of life living in a cave and lets you do as you might imagine. It's so much fun. Number two, the scoring conditions. While it's a game and you play to get the best score, it's also a bit of a puzzle. What do you need to do to get the most points at the end of the game? Should you focus on planning first so you can feed your family without worry? Or do you mine deeper to gain rubies, which can be used to buy food? Maybe you want to pasture more animals or work to have a little bit of everything. What strategy gains the most points? And I'm not sure yet. Although the magical number is 100, I've heard 200 can be reached. And I'm not seeing how that is even possible yet. So I've got to play many more games to puzzle that out. Number three, the end of the game reward. I love at the end of the game, looking at what you built and achieved. Whether or not you beat your previous score or not, it's so neat. You start off slow, but by the end, as you gain more meeples, can take more actions and have things in play like animals breeding, fields being harvested, adventures taken, so much can happen. By the end of the game, you had a lot of fun exploring and building, and you can see what you built. Your cave in the land in front has become plentiful and it's very satisfying. So there are the three things that I love about Caverna specifically. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time here at All About Fun and Games.